What is up, everybody? Eddie Barco here once again, and I'd like to welcome you to another up-and-coming artist episode. Now, just as an FYI, I'm going to be changing the name of this series starting in July, primarily because even though I am featuring tons of up-and-coming artists, A, I feel like the name is a little bit too long, I'm also featuring some notable established artists too that may not be huge, but that I also feel are established, have a bit of a career, and I want to introduce them to you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this series Artist Spotlight starting in July. So this will be the last up-and-coming artist, but it's essentially the same thing. It's the exact same format, just a different name starting in July. It's going to be the Artist Spotlight series, and I can't wait for you guys to continue checking this out. I love introducing new artists to my fans because I think there's tons of content out there that inspires us to do amazing things, to work on our craft, whatever it may be, whenever I find a new artist that's doing cool things, I want to bring them to your attention. And part of that is bringing their music to you. So I can't wait to keep doing this. And I really want to thank all of you for checking these episodes out. It's been a great adventure so far, and I can't wait to keep doing this. So as always, I'm going to go ahead and be featuring about 13 new songs Like I did last time, I'm going to be giving a brief little introduction for every song. I'm going to mention the name of the artist, the name of the song, a couple little things that I enjoyed about the two and some things that you guys can look forward to. I am doing my best to pronounce some of these names and some of these titles. I'm not the best pronouncer in the world, but I'm going to do my absolute best to get it right the first time around. But I will include the full artist name, the full song title in the episode's description on Spotify, iTunes, Wherever you're checking out this episode, there is a description that goes along with it. Just go ahead and click it, and you'll find the full artist name and song title in case you want to go ahead and check it out. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so to kick things off, we have Mr. Johnny Catini with the song Now She's Gone. One of the things that I loved about this track is just how great everything sounds. It's incredibly mixed. And in fact, it's kind of simple in the sense that I believe there's just a guitar, bass, your typical rhythm section going. It sounds nice and full, but simple. And it definitely gave me like a John Mayer kind of vibe. The singing is great. That chorus is super catchy. I'm still humming it. And I definitely feel that line in the chorus. Now she's gone. It's just made in a way where I feel Johnny's emotion going through the song. Even if this is not about him specifically, I could definitely feel that emotion that's going through the songwriter's mind when saying the phrase, now she's gone. Great tune. Let's check it out.
Up next, we have Paul and Discreet with the song In My Heart. Now, instantly, right off the back, this song gave me some very European, almost Spanish electronic vibes. Like, I feel like I'm in Ibiza or Ibiza, I believe that's how you pronounce it correctly, in a club by the beach listening to this track. Now, right off the back, it sounds very clean, sounds very nice. It's very mellow when it begins, so you won't get that electric vibe right away. But when the instrumental comes in, it sounds electronic, like you're in Spain and Ibiza. It just sounds really cool, really chill in all the right places. And I got to say, I love how the singer flows really well with the line, I thought I could forget her. Like, it's a line that I can't forget. I believe it's the chorus, but when it's layered over the instrumental and it's just a very good rhythm, it's catchy. And I keep humming it to myself, and that's a sign of a really good track. So let's check it out. It's been a lonely night Just woke up and saw the sun Think it's time that I move on Been spending my days Trying to find something like What we had, it felt so right I thought I could forget her Still here, lost in your car Been to hell and to heaven But you're still in my heart Yeah. 
Okay, up next, we have Johnny Glenn with the song Don't Want to Let You Down. Now, right off the back, I have to say, I think this song is a clear example of a perfect pop introduction. Now, without getting too detailed, the thing that really stood out to me is that John found a good way of balancing elements and brought them in at the perfect times. Whenever I'm listening to music, one of the things I notice right off the back is sometimes as musicians, as artists, we have this tendency of wanting to just create a lot and put so many elements in all at once. And it's something that we all do. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I I find that in pop music, it can be easier to overwhelm a listener instead of intriguing them. And I think this song is a classic example of how to balance all your elements. Right off the back, we start with some really cool keys, and then we get a really simple but super groovy guitar lick that's playing underneath the lyrics, but it still blends really well. Then after that, the bass comes in, which I believe doubles the guitar, then it goes out, but then when the chorus hits, it hits perfectly. Now, it isn't a heavy chorus, but it's a good balanced pop chorus and I think that's a great example of what makes a song catchy it isn't necessarily having so many things going on at once that can work but this song does a lot with a little and it balances everything perfectly great singer and I've just you know I'm just having this song on loop a lot I really enjoy it and I can't wait to share it with you so let's go ahead and check it out I don't want to let you down It's the only thing I think about every morning You know my life ain't figured out But I promise if you stick around it'll never get boring We'll spend nights with cheap red wine Look at flats even though we can't afford them I don't wanna let you down I don't wanna lose you now Will you stay Even when you wanna walk away When time Get bad We can learn to love what we have I don't wanna let you down in my life without you would be boring and we'll spend nights cheap red wine look at flats even though we can't afford them i don't want to let you down i don't want to lose you now Late Lilo is up next with the song Late Last Night. Now, right off the back, I have to say, there are some great vocals happening in this mix. I mean, I think Late Lilo just sounds fantastic, but it also sounds powerful, which, believe it or not, in my opinion, I think that's a really hard thing to do, especially for a producer or engineer, finding a way to make something sound super crisp, but also powerful, that impacts the soul. That's difficult, and so this song definitely has it. But I gotta say, the chorus, man... If you like trap, this is definitely the song for you. This chorus hits, and it hits in all the right places. There's a few elements going on at the same time, but it's just so groovy. And that 808, the swooping effect that it does, oof, I just absolutely loved it. I fell in love with this track 
right from the beginning, and I just got to share it with you. So this is Late Lilo's track, Late Last Night. I don't see my name next to yours. I can't feel my weight anymore. Holding on to hope that I might be enough. You know what my heart's aiming for. Meet me up and tell me you needed someone better. I can't wait around anymore. Feel like we don't speak how we used to be together. Lying down on my bedroom floor. Late last night I called, hoping you pick up the phone. I know that there's been some time since I had you all along. What you really like is the thing I want to find. Find a way into your life, life, life. Okay, up next we have Bratton and Crit Leaf. I hope that I pronounced that correctly with the song Vacation Night. Now, right off the back, I have to say this has a great intro. It's very groovy. That kick cuts through the mix. And even though I I got this chill vibe from the whole entire song, just listening through it, it's very relaxed, but it has this driving groove to it. It's hard to explain. And this to me is a mystery. I don't know how some artists can do this, but there is like a mysterious technique to be able to create a driving but still relaxed groove. And as a drummer, I'm a nerd about that stuff. And I always have to point it out when I hear it. One of the things that really stood out to me is that guitar loop that you're going to hear from the very beginning. It's looping, but it's a theme that you hear throughout the song. Now, one of the things that I have discovered through many years is some of the greatest songwriters are masters at using themes. And by that, I mean being able to use a repetitive pattern over and over and over, but building on it, you know, adding elements to it without really changing what's going on. And I think that theme that you hear at the very beginning with the guitar, you hear it again in the chorus, but it's built up a little bit more. It has the bass doubling it. The drums blend really well with it. There's a lot of stuff going on, but that theme never really goes away. And I think it's a perfect example of what you can do with just a simple looping theme. I definitely want to drive that point home. It's a classic example of good songwriting and good production of being able to use elements over and over again. Now, before I ramble on, let's just go ahead and check out the song. It's a great, great song by Brat and Crit Leaf. Here's Vacation Night. Vacation night, 
Up next, we have Sammy Listo with the song Where It Feels Like Home. Now, right off the bat, I have to say this is a very powerful song with amazing vocals, amazing production, great singer. I can't stress that enough. Sammy, you're a fantastic singer. But I think this song is a classic example of driving emotion into what's going on in the music. I think I say this a lot in some of the interviews that I do. I personally love it when I can feel someone's emotion in the music that I'm hearing. And I think to some of us, especially musicians, I feel like it's self-explanatory. Like music needs to be able to do that. But I don't know. I feel like as a drummer myself, I know how difficult it can be to express emotion in a very good articulate way where the average person can hear your song and after one time through be able to understand what it is that you were feeling when you wrote it. And this song, I mean, there's so many powerful elements to it, but especially in the chorus when the background vocals come in and they, they're they basically like a choir singing, oh, 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 behind the main vocals. I really felt an impact at that moment. And it's a feeling that keeps on building as the song progresses. I mean, the song, once the rest of the band comes in, the song does not stop building, but it doesn't build in an overwhelming way. It just builds the right amount every time. And I think that's something that needs to be commended. So without a further ado, let's go ahead and check it out. Sammy Listo, Where It Feels Like Home. I don't really go out I'm not looking to replace what could have been love For someone I'd embrace See I've been dealt some good hands But I folded before the turn And in the fight to be a good man I'm still growing with a lot to learn It's been a violent year A fall in tears Drove the man in So I'll pack it on out Some nowhere town Gonna make a new name for myself Where it feels like home The 
gun And I've held the knife Up against all my wrongs And tried to force them right But the past is made for learning And staying where it belongs Because it's hard to start a breaking and losing the pieces Some lonely towns trying to break down these walls that I'll bring sun to places that I've always shaded. Get this heart of my love to go where it feels like home. Up next, we have Ethan French with the song The More I See. Now, this is another one of those tracks that's just emotional all the way through, but in all the right ways. And I guess I'm just going to list off some things that really stood out to me because there's so many things that I could say about each and every one of these tracks that I'm featuring, but it would take so long. The first thing I got to say, the pianist, whoever's playing the piano, if it's Ethan, fantastic. But if it's somebody else, regardless of who it is, The pianist is just phenomenal in this track. I mean, from the very beginning, they're playing a very simplistic chord progression, but they do use some other chords that enhance the overall melody, the overall emotion, which is a brilliant choice. Easier said than done, and I got to tip my hat to the piano in this song because it's frankly one of the best piano chord progressions that I've heard in quite some time But also the vocals, man. They're just killer in this track. I mean, every single song I feature has fantastic singers. But I got to give credit where credit is due. And Ethan, man, you knocked it out of the park. There's tons of background vocals going on. There's some four-part harmonies going on, if I'm listening correctly. And they mesh so well with this track. And that leads me to my last point. This track is incredibly simplistic when you really listen to it. I think there's only piano. There's some very light percussion going on, but it's really being driven by the piano and the vocals, which to anyone out there, any engineer or producer, they know how difficult it can be to mix an acoustic track. Now, not because it's complicated, but because you only really have two or three musical elements happening and you have to make them sound as full as possible. And this track, I don't know how, but it sounds incredibly full. I feel like I'm sitting in front of them in a recital hall and I'm just in love with the sound of this track. So I can't wait for you to listen to it. This is Ethan French, The More I See. Sit down, he said now, look around. Look at all the faces, look at all the clouds. Simmer down, he said now. Think alone. It's getting hard to hear. It's getting hard to hear what we found. And he said, The more I see, the less I say. The more I dream, the less there remains.
Next up, we have Scott Boyd with the song Restless Heart. Now, first off, for me, one of the things that I really enjoyed about this track is the drummer, whoever's playing drums. Hats off to you. I think you have chosen very wisely for this song. Personally, when it comes to very singer-songwriter styles, which, again, I'm not so sure if this is what I would classify this track as, but it definitely has a lot of folk singer-songwriter vibes to it. I've had difficulty as a drummer being able to choose the right grooves, but in this track, the percussion is never overbearing, but there are moments where it's busy, but it's busy in the right way. And I just got to tip my hat to you, whoever was that advised that. The groove essentially drives the song forward, and I love that. I love when a song has a good groove going. Great vocals. This song will definitely give you an Ed Sheeran kind of vibe. And that's a huge compliment because Ed Sheeran is arguably one of the best songwriters of my generation. And I think the fact that this song captures a lot of the elements that make Ed Sheeran magical, you'll definitely hear a lot of it in this track. And it's just a fantastic, catchy tune that continues to build as the song plays out. And again, you'll notice that there are lots of percussive elements being introduced in every single corner, but it never overbears you. It just makes the song Feel relaxed, but still busy and groovy in all the right places. I mean, all around a great track, and I'm proud to include it in this list. So without further ado, this is Scott Boyd's Restless Heart. Traveling the highway towards the better days. Just live in the moment, it's all we need today. I've been thinking of those wide eyed gazes that we had back when we were teenagers and we knew. Could do anything I'll be anyone Just as long as we sing Do you remember the days We fell in love With the open road Wherever we're going We'll be there soon Relax and let go And just enjoy the view Live every moment Like it's your life let go and rest your restless heart In every moment, spend the night awake Dreaming about life and yesterday Just let it all go and fade away Learn from your mistakes, I wanna hear you sing 
been dreaming of those ocean waves Sending my toes in the wind in my face Do you remember the days we fell in love with the open road? Wherever we're going, we'll be there soon Relax and let go and just enjoy the Sabrina Lee is up next with her song, Hurt. Now, I got to say, Sabrina, I love your vocals. You are a fantastic singer, and I think this track highlights that very well and how crisp and clear and, dare I say it, almost angelic. Well, how your voice sounds almost angelic. I absolutely love it. But one of the things that I think stand out really well in this track, other than it just being a fantastic production, being a great pop tune all the way from the beginning to end, is the vocoder effect. I believe it's called the vocoder effect. I could be wrong, but it's essentially... I personally don't really know how to describe it, but a vocoder is essentially when the voice sounds like it's being played through chords. I guess that's the best way I could describe it. But in my experience, I know that a vocoder effect is very hard to accomplish well. I know there's tons of filters and things that help you do it nowadays, but to really get it to sound clean and to mesh well with a track, now that's very difficult. And in this specific song, it complements Sabrina's vocals so well. They come out very powerful. They blend really well, especially in the chorus. When it hits you, it hits you hard, and I can feel that emotion. And if you guys were tuning in a little bit earlier, you'll know that I'm a sucker for songs that can deliver that emotion where I can feel what you were singing about. And this song is no exception to that. I loved it. Tons of emotion behind it, tons of passion, and I'm happy to include it in the list. Sabrina Lee, I'm an instant fan. Here's Sabrina Lee's song, Hurt. Two weeks alone, been in the state of mind before Wish I knew how to leave it, but I don't A few days ago, laid all my feelings on the floor I called, you picked up, hung up the phone And I've been laying with somebody who won't love me Until I do it myself And I've been keeping a good distance from the people Sometimes I get hurt, I get hurt, just a little bit I might make it worse, make it worse, overthinking it And sometimes I get hurt, I get hurt, all by myself Been trying way too hard to find someone that I can pin on all the blame And I like company cause I get all attention so I don't Okay again, but if I 
Next up, we have Chris Waters with the song Blurry. Now, I got to say, this song hits hard. There are tons of surprises in this track, and I love the way it was built from the ground up. Now, first up, again, as a drummer, I always notice those beats. I notice those grooves, and there are some very heavy drums in this song, but in a good way. They cut through. They feel really deep. And again, anyone who has experience mixing drums knows how hard it is to get a very good, fat drum set that actually cuts through the mix, but that doesn't overbear the listener. And this track achieves that. So definitely commend you for that. That's fantastic. My man, Chris, you can flow incredibly well. That flow in the verses, woof. I loved it. It just it felt like a river, this river full of words. And I, I don't know how best to describe it, but it just flows incredibly well. But my favorite, absolute favorite part of this track is around the two minute, 25 second mark. It's a bit of a surprise. I don't want to give it away. Just stay tuned. It just hits you hard. Let me just say it like that. The song switches up a little bit. The style still remains the same, but there's a lot of new elements that get introduced. And it definitely caught me off guard, but in a very good way. I was very pleasantly surprised. I was an instant fan, and I can't wait to share it with you. So let's check it out. This is Chris Waters' song, Blurry. I've been put on hold. I'm home alone. My trace was found. I guess we'll have to take a rain check. I'm sinking fast, and I'm sinking low. Slave to my phone. Joke's on me. <laughs> Arthur Fleck, I'm seeing phoniness and trepidation. Why me? Loneliness and no isolation can't be. Now this is stream of conscious, conscious of streams. And I already told you that nothing's as it seems. Say goodbye to the 2020 vision. Things are blurry now when I'm sitting in this prison. I'm wondering why I've been put in this position. Someone check my pulse, I'm not in the best condition. But maybe now I can really start to listen and use this transition and fuel to my ambition. And maybe now I can give myself permission to see what I've been given and not focus on what's missing. January missed. was solitary. February broke my heart. March was misplaced, later erased. Spring was called up from the start. April showers brought no flowers because May was dreary gray. And gloom and June, it came too soon. And all our dreams washed away. This is right jab, uppercut, body blow. This is uncharted waters getting TKO'd. The ladder's broke, now there's nothing left to do. I'm just out of energy, I'm handing off to you. So take the ball from me, big it to not fumble. Break the wall for me, need the brick to crumble. And this is past his prime, this is Fred Durst. I'm running out of time, things are only getting worse. Say goodbye to the 2020 vision. Things are blurry now and I'm sitting in this prison. I'm wondering why I've been put in this position. Someone check my pulse, I'm not in the best condition. But maybe now I can really start to listen and use this transition and fuel to my ambition. And maybe now I can give myself permission to see what I've been given and not focus on what's missing. January was solitary. February broke my heart. March was misplaced, later erased. Spring was caught up from the start. April showers brought no flowers because May was dreary gray. Gloom and June, it came too soon and all our dreams were washed away. Say goodbye to the 2020 vision Cause you're so worry now when I'm sitting in this Say goodbye to the 2020 vision Cause you're so now when I'm sitting in this Say goodbye to the 2020 vision Cause you're so worry now when I'm sitting in this Say goodbye to the 2020 Now we all got two on. Run that back, something for you to chew on. I can't escape my home, can't escape my mind. Two seconds on the shot clock, I'm playing from behind. The scoreboard's blurry, I can't see the score. I need a comeback, Boston 04. This is game time, no time for delaying. The game's not over, so I'ma keep on playing.
Up next, we have Wheeze. I believe that's the way we pronounce it. I'm hoping that I pronounce it correctly. With the song, Never Let Me Go. Now, there's so many great songs on this list. You know, sometimes it's crazy because I hear myself saying the same cool things about every single track. But the reality is, these tracks stand out for a reason. And I honestly, I just got to let you know what it is. This track is a fantastic I don't even know how you would call it tropical tune in a sense. It's clearly a pop song, but it has tons of tropical elements to it. It has that Latin American Calypso influence groove that it's become very popular nowadays, but I love it. I love its use. It's used very efficiently in this track, and I got to say, it's incredibly catchy. I'm willing to bet that a lot of you listeners who, when you listen to this song for the very first time and you hear the chorus for the first time, you're going to be humming those words a lot back to yourself. And that is always the sign of a very good song when you can hear it for the first time and you can hum back the themes, you can hum back the lyrics. Again, I got to commend that because it's not easy to do. And my man Weez, you just knocked it out of the park. A solid pop tune, great vocals, great production all around. I mean, what else can I say? The song is practically perfect so let's go ahead and check it out we have Weeze's song never let me go Next, we have Kelsey with the song Middle School. Another great tune. I got to say, Kelsey, you are a fantastic, I mean, ridiculously good singer. You got to leave some singing for the rest of us because you absolutely killed it. I mean, in this track, Kelsey has some three or four part harmonies. Again, I'm not a singer, so I don't know specifics. But from what I could hear, there's some moments in the chorus where she sings these harmonies perfectly. They blend really well in such a catchy way. Again, hard to do. And this is coming from a drummer, but still, I understand the difficulty behind it. And it's just, it goes to show how talented Kelsey is. And that also is not even mentioning how great this production is. The minute the band hits, the minute the music comes in with the 808, it punches really hard. It's so fat. It's so groovy. Very simplistic, too, in the sense where there's just a solid beat with a very simplistic 808 line going from what I could hear. But it punches so hard and it's groovy. It makes you bob your head back and forth. I absolutely love it. But also, I can't leave without giving props to the guitarist. I mean, the guitar riff used in this track, there's so many cool little nuances going on in the guitar that I could pick up on that just sound fantastic. Blends so well with the vocals, blends incredibly well with the rest of the track. Hats off to whoever was playing guitar because it sounds fantastic. And again, I got to always point out when musicians find a good balance of technicality, musicianship, 
but being able to blend that with good songwriting, that's a very difficult thing to learn how to do, and this track does all of it really well. So let's go ahead and check it out. We have Kelsey's song, Middle School. And up next, we have Lincoln Jesser with the song Boba. Now, I got to say, my head was bobbing back and forth from the very first couple of seconds. Great intro. I just got to say that. It's a fantastic intro. Me as a drummer who has worked with plenty of songwriters know how hard it is to come up with a catchy intro. That's why I'm always bringing it up. I understand the difficulty that it is to come up with really cool but simple ideas that will be catchy, that you'll remember. And this track is that classic example of something that you'll remember, you'll hum to yourself. It makes you want to bob your head back and forth. It's super dancey, but also relax at the same time. I mean, there's a lot of cool things happening in this intro that I honestly have to just showcase. It's really, really well done. And it's the theme that continues to be carried on as the song progresses. There's this little bounciness to the track that is never lost. And that's done by this song's amazing groove, amazing group of musicians that were involved to make this track, and the singing. Lincoln Jester, you're a fantastic singer. Now, again, this song is kind of chill and relaxed, but it's done in a way where I can still feel like this nice, super sweet, almost bouncy, honey kind of feel when I listen to this track. And I know I'm kind of rambling on words, but I have to say, I have to point out when I find a good track, this is an all-around happy, good song that's bouncy all the way through Great musicians, great production, amazing singer. And I'm just proud to include this on the list. We have Lincoln Jester's song, Boba.
take you over, yeah, bring you back to when we were young and free, when everything was easy, how it's supposed to be. My signals, I'm out of whack Till you put your hands on me Then I can see the future The way it's supposed to be I know we've been through it, through it And this loving is easy to lose But this feeling is real, I can prove it If we're not it, I Okay, that was my second part of my up-and-coming artist list for June. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I know that I definitely did. Again, as I mentioned, this is a newfound passion for me. I love sharing music from up-and-coming artists and also some established artists, maybe some music that you would not have thought of listening to. I want to do my part in bringing some of these cool artists to you so that it helps inspire you to create some stuff of your own. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the episode, I will be changing the name of this series from Up and Coming Artists to Artist Spotlight starting in July. This is so much fun for me, and thank you guys so much for checking this episode out. I would be nothing without all of you, and I honestly just feel honored that I get to do this every week. Make sure to stay tuned in. I have tons of great interviews coming up just for you guys, so definitely stay tuned. I have one this week. I have one the following week. There's just so many cool interviews and content coming from this show, so definitely make sure to stay tuned in because I have tons of great content coming your way.